Well, today is a new tank. No, it's not worth it. I mean, it looks cool, okay? I'll give it that. It looks cool. It's like a little mini IS-4 in a way. You know, you've got fuel tanks at the back. Um, it definitely looks cool. However, it's not. I mean, just looking at the stats. <sighs> like, the thing is with this tank, it gets no DPM. Quite bad standard pen at 203. You know, you're going to struggle a lot when you meet tier 10. And I mean a lot. And even with the premium rounds of 270, you're sometimes going to struggle with uh, tanks. It is not good, the penetration. Especially firing at distance, what goes down to 190 at 500 meters, that is awful. Um, you're at long reload time, long aiming time, massive dispersion, and absolutely poo poo dispersion when you're on the move, the tank traverse, and turret traverse. Not to mention, you're not even fast. You don't have armor. But even though that, yes, it may look like it has armor. It has 250 turret armor. 160 on the hull. That must be good. It's all sloped and everything. Well, yeah, but if you look at it. Wow, yeah, it's really, really good. You can even, you know, side scrape over angle even like this. And uh, you'll be able to bounce a load of shots. Um, however. If you have a little look at the, the top of the turret, ah, it will be overmatched by 90 millimeters and above. Not to mention that this Capola is always penetrable by anything. And I would forgive the armor if the gun was okay, right? If the tank was a little bit faster or the gun was like a lot, a lot better than it is, the armor would be fine, but it's not <laughs> even absolutely maxed out. It's still not good. It goes 35 forwards, which is a lot more manageable. 15 in reverse. And the dispersion values are still absolutely awful. <laughs> Even with V-Stamp. The gun accuracy dispersion is also just useless. Um, the aim time is 2.7. Like it's, it's got nothing going for it. It really doesn't. Like, sure, you might be able to bait some shots into your hole of people that don't understand the tank because it's brand new. But as soon as people understand, you just pen the turret, it will die instantly. No matter what, no matter what tier you're facing, even tier sixes can kill you. So should you pick one up? No, I'd avoid this. I'd avoid it like the plague. Now, there is one glimmer of hope if you love the look of this tank, right, and you really want to get it, it may be buffed in the future, but you should never buy into a maybe or a promise for the future. You should never buy into something that promises to develop on something they already have because you're taking a risk. I, j I cannot recommend this tank in good faith to anyone. <laughs> like the best thing is that it looks cool and that's about it. But for 8,000 gold, which is an okay price, if you really want to get it, bid the absolute minimum and maybe you'll get it. But for me, I'm not bidding anything. Even as a content creator, I'm not bidding anything on this tank. <laughs> I don't care about it. Like, genuinely, I think this is one of the worst vehicles they've ever released.